I believe there will be uh, some uh, relief for us all. We've had a very difficult uh, last three or four years. I, I, I think it's about to get harder. And, uh, you think it's about to get harder? Yeah, yeah. Great. The financial situation isn't very good. Um, and I think they want to bring in central bank digital currencies. And I think they want What's to your concern with that? Uh, central bank digital currencies are essentially a tracking tool. So when we were discussing earlier about the fact that um, it's my data is valuable and wherever I check my wherever I um, tap my contactless card leaves a mark that I bought the bottle of water at that time and you said tracking of course so central bank digital currencies are tracking that's what they are so in in a sense I you take paper money away um, because it's we ended up printing so much of it quantitative easing uh, that it, it's become pretty much worthless the dollar standard globally is no longer. Uh, being respected. Uh, China and Russia are trading oil uh, in rubles and no longer in dollars. Uh, again, it's unprecedented. Saudi Arabia considering the same thing. Uh, just four years ago, this would be considered impossible to do. So uh, paper money, and the reason it's happening is because the Federal Reserve has made a mess of, of, of money and the money system. So what they want to bring in instead is central bank digital currencies. And what you can do is if all of our currency is digital, and it's run by the central bank, you can program it. And so you could say, right, Majid, you know, you've had a, this was a coffee. I spilled it on the way in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, my on your, your pants, yeah, like, yeah. They're white as well. As yeah. some, but um, uh, you could say, right, Majid, you've had, this is my second coffee today because I'm jet lagged from the travel. Uh, you've had two coffees today. And so next time you try and buy a coffee, that's your quota met. <laughs> and, and you can't, you won't physically be able to buy it. Now with coffee, that sounds petty, but we know that's what they want to do with red meat. We know that they've told us they want us to eat more bugs as yeah. opposed to red meat. So if you've got a central bank digital currency that is programmable, which we also know, there's an article in the Telegraph, um, Rob, which you may want to bring up, but um. It, it might be behind a paywall, though, but uh, the, the Bank of England has told us that these central bank digital currencies will be programmable. Um, you might want to look up the word Bank of England, CBDC, or uh, digital currencies programmable, and, and the Telegraph article with the word Telegraph in there, and it should come up as one well of the bank of it. There you go. In that article there, programming, you see it? Bank of England tells ministers to intervene on digital currency programming. Wow. Digital cash could be programmed to ensure it is only spent on essentials or goods which an employer or government deems to be sensible. <laughs> you right? can't like you, this it, is from 21, 2021. It'll block not, you from eating or doing something that they don't want that, that yeah. they deem wrong. Yeah. So, so Jeez. in answer to your question, I do think so. This is how it's going to get harder, right? Tom Mutton, a director at the Bank of England, yeah. said during a conference on Monday that programming could become a key feature of any central bank digital currency in which the money would be programmed to be released. Only when something happened. Yeah, strict. Yeah. Strict so, so you've had, you've had. I had a steak for dinner last night, right? I, you know, we, we in the UK, I I recommend South Asian food, but if you want a steak, you have to come to America. Yeah. Right? So, so Brick had, Lane. A, yeah. yeah, yeah. Who's been? You've been I've there. I've been to Brick. Yeah. That's amazing. I mean, the, I, I'd probably give you some recommendations that are off the beaten path a bit more for proper good okay. desi food, but that's a topic yeah. we could conversation. Bangladeshi we could have off food. Air. I've had Brick Lane. But um, I had. But if you had too much steak this week, there, Majid, that's my that's point. That's it. You can't have another. That's one. Right. They can program it. You've, you've met your quota, and this whole carbon bullshit, right? That eating this piece of steak is bad for the environment. So sorry, but you can literally can't purchase that anymore because the CBDC is programmed it recognized that yesterday Majid had mm -hmm. one so tonight maybe I want another steak can't buy one you know so that's how I think it's going to get worse so if you like this clip and you want to watch another one click right here and if you want to watch the entire podcast click right here